So this is just going to be a quick video introducing a series that we're starting here on the Gram channel on our real analysis. Um, so the aim of the series is going to be to bridge the gap between high school calculus and university analysis because real analysis at university is often considered to be one of the most difficult courses and that's not necessarily because it's got concepts in it which are super hard or anything like that. It's usually because it's the first proper pure mathematics course you'll take and that means it's the first time you've actually had to worry about proofs and worry about rigor and it can seem really bizarre and abstract because we're writing all this super general stuff and it often feels disconnected from um, the way we understood calculus. Um, so as far as an age range goes we're aiming more at year 8 to 10 students who are really enthusiastic about maths but if you fall into any other age group that's totally fine it doesn't matter um, we do have an expectation that you understand single variable calculus fairly well um, so have at least have an understanding that you know or an intuitive understanding that you know a dx is a small length or something like that of course we're going to rip that apart and completely change it but you need to be beyond the level where you think integration is just to do with the area under a curve and that differentiation is just to do with the gradient so arc length volumes through revolution stuff like that you'll need to understand to an intuitive sense where those formulas come from and um, if you've studied multivariable calculus then you should be completely fine because you really do build that up in the study of multivariable calculus um, and as, as is often true the more maths you've done the easier you'll find learning new maths but um, really if you haven't done multivariable calculus or anything else it's not important all you technically need is single variable but I would recommend having a stronger understanding in those areas um, so what actually is real analysis uh, real analysis is, as the name suggests, the analysis of real numbers. Um, so analysis is one of the four big pillars of mathematics, um, along with geometry, algebra, and number theory. Um, loosely, real, um, sorry, loosely analysis deals with infinite, um, things that are infinitely big, things that are infinitely small, things that happen infinitely often. Um, of course, as you come to learn real analysis and some of the other types of analysis like harmonic analysis or functional analysis or complex analysis, you'll learn that there is a bit more to it. Um, but for the moment, that's a pretty good rough out of what's encapsulated in analysis. And real analysis more specifically looks at the real numbers um, and functions of the real numbers. And it really core to real analysis is this idea of a sequence or or a series of real numbers um, and we'll use that to build up ideas of integrals and things like that um, we'll also look at continuity smoothness differentiability integrability limits um, convergence we'll look at early on we'll look at an interesting problem where um, we'll find in we'll look at infinite series and we'll look at is it okay to switch the numbers around in that series like we do in um, the finite case? And we'll look at whether a function can be integrated and learn how to write proofs of whether a function can be integrated. And we'll look at things like the Riemann definition of an integral, which you might be familiar with from high school, but we'll try to look at it a bit more. Um, so we will have proofs and we will have theorems and lemmas and definitions and all of those things that you'd expect in a properly rigorous course but on top of that we're also going to try and talk about the intuition and we're going to try and relate it more to the high school calculus we're going to if we see fit um, give real world examples of it and um, we'll have problems going along with the videos um, sort of solving problems problems that you can do on your own we might have some problem sets that you can look at um, so yeah a lot of really good stuff um, additionally, I will briefly mention that we are very, very loosely following the structure of Abbott's understanding analysis. Um, Content-wise, it's going to be very different, but if you're reading that book or um, watching this series, you can sort of read the book or watch the series. Um, but yeah, it's a good book to read if you have access to it or a university library, you can borrow it or something like that. It's in no way, shape or form necessary to watch this series, but I would highly recommend it. It's an, a brilliantly written book um, and it'll help 
sort of go maybe a little bit more rigorous than in this series if that's what you're interested in but otherwise don't worry about it um yeah i think that that covers everything so um cool i hope you enjoy the series uh thank you